A Lincoln police officer could be headed behind bars for an assault that was caught on camera. Today, a judge found Officer Edward Krawitz guilty of felony battery for kicking a woman in the head at Twin River in 2009 while her hands were cuffed behind her back. Eyewitness News reporter Marilyn Scherer joins us live from Providence Superior Court now with the latest developments. There was no jury in this criminal case against a police officer, only a judge and his decision guilty. A judgment of conviction against the defendant. Hanging his head low during the judge's decision, Lincoln Patrolman Edward Krawitz was found guilty of battery with a dangerous weapon, a felony, after he kicked a woman in the head outside Twin River in May 2009. The incident was captured on video and is considered the state's most damning evidence against him. I have concluded that the trial evidence is sufficient to prove the defendant's guilt beyond a reasonable doubt. It took Judge Edward Clifton more than two hours to render his decision in court. Judge Clifton methodically reviewed the trial evidence and testimony. He cited legal precedents and the Fourth Amendment protection against the use of excessive and unreasonable force, which he said Krawitz used when he kicked Donna Levesque in the head while she sat on the curb intoxicated and in handcuffs. This court does not agree with the defendant that the amount of force that he used was reasonable. The judge called the defense attorney's expert witness evasive. The judge ruled this was not an act of self-defense and said there was no threat toward the Lincoln officer when he kicked Levesque. That the kick by the defendant was not an accident, it was not a mistake. The force of the kick was hard. Obviously, we're very disappointed uh, in the decision, uh, notwithstanding the fact that I respect what the judge said it did. Uh, we have a difference of opinion. And just a few minutes ago, the Lincoln Town Administrator issued a statement saying the town is satisfied that justice was served, and he went on to say the incident was inexcusable and violates professional standards of all police officials. Now, uh, sentencing for Krawitz is set for March 19th, coming up new at 6. We'll hear from the defense attorney about how this decision may affect all police officers. Reporting live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Maryland, Shara Eyewitness News.